Cole Pareko in St. Louis just signing a big extension to stay put with the team he won a Stanley Cup not too long ago. Eight-year extension, $52 million total. His bank account is growing. AAV, $6.5 million. Uh, how do you categorize this one? Team-friendly, player-friendly, or benefits both? Uh, I, I mean, he gets the security. He gets $50 million plus million. He's a very good defenseman who didn't have as good of a year last year as he had previously. I think St. Louis saw him coming up on a UFA status. They saw Petrangelo having left. They want to keep him. He's still young enough, skates well enough that his game should be able to age gracefully for the next five, six years, uh, provided he stays healthy. Uh, and I think they wanted to keep that big piece, having already lost Petro on the back end. They couldn't lose Pereco as well. So they were proactive, got him done, and, and got him signed long term. It's a good contract. Um, you know, I, I think... For a guy who was an analytic darling, like he was a guy who tilted the ice, he might not generate a ton of points, doesn't always play on the power play, and with Tory Krug and Justin Falk around, he probably will not. But one of the best defensive defensemen going, skates well, he's a big body, big frame, takes a lot of room, and, and is really appreciated by the coaching staff and kind of the hockey community uh, as the kind of player that he is. So uh, it seems pretty fair if you're going to be a top two, three defenseman on a team, not pair, but like one, two, or three, which he is, um, in the sixes make a little bit of sense and he gets a whole bunch of term coming off not a great year which for a hockey player if you're not being uber aggressive that probably feels attractive as well. Absolutely so this is what St. Louis is rolling out at least projected for the upcoming season. Uh, where's this team at? Taking mm -hmm. a step forward or a step back? They are St. Louis right now. I'm, I, they feel like they're in transition even though you know, with Pareko coming back and Bennington coming back, like maybe they're not. Maybe they just, they're just trying to, I mean, Tarasenko wants to be out of there, and he does. Yeah. That's a big piece. And so you start taking away per Tarasenko and Petrangelo and some of the foundational pieces who won the cup. It's going to be different, but I still think they're going to play the same style. I like the fact they had a guy like Bushnevich. They, they To add a guy, because you're going to lose Tarasenko, who is a guy who can score easily, you need in St. Louis offense that can score easier. They work hard. They check diligently, but sometimes you just need skill. Skill to make plays that can create goals. Because not every goal has to be such a grind and have to work. So sometimes, like, oh, we didn't do much there, but he just danced someone, made a nice pass, yeah. and scored. Like, we need players. They need players like that. Bushnevich is a good addition there. Uh, and we'll be curious to see the return for Tarasenko. That's a big, he's a massive star, yeah. proven goal scorer. If they trade him, when they trade him, you have to think quality will be coming back, not just draft picks and, and, player, and, and prospects. There was uh, links and rumors Tarasenko to the Islanders. Mm. Do you think that's no. still not I, anymore I mean, I, signings and stuff? There's no money left, right? No money left. They'd have to ship out $7 million in salaries. Yeah. And so even if you were to trade Josh Bailey, and I think they missed the second buyout window, so like, you know, they can't buy out Comer off, and mm -hmm. it, it would just be, it'd be tricky yeah. uh, to, to move out that much salary. And that will be St. Louis's challenge yeah. when you're trading a guy who has that much, many dollars happy, attached yeah. to him. It's not that teams don't want him. It's not that teams maybe wouldn't have made more room for him previously. But now heading into camp in a few weeks, that's a lot to shuffle around here at the last minute to accommodate seven, eight million dollar salary. All right. Well, we appreciate the hockey gods accommodating yeah. us. Congrats to Cole Pareko. That's awesome. Five Good for him. fresh signings to talk about. Yeah, eight-year deal for Pareko in St. Louis.